How's it guys, my name is Dylan and in this video I want to show you how to screen record the back of your camera. I made a video a couple of days ago about how I set up my Sony camera for video and in that tutorial I needed to record the screen of my camera so that I could show you how to set it up. In order to do this you're going to need three things. The first thing you'll need is an HDMI cable. The second thing you'll need is some kind of HDMI recorder. So there's a couple of different options here. You could look at something like the Ninja 5, which is an HDMI recorder and a monitor that you use on your camera. These are quite expensive though, and if you're only needing it to record tutorial videos, this might be a bit overkill. The other thing you could look for on Amazon is a USB HDMI video capture device. So people use these to live stream their video games when they're playing PlayStation or to use their camera as a webcam. And the last thing you'll need is some kind of software to record it on your computer. So you can either use something like OBS or even VLC Media Player. I think you can use that as well. I use OBS and this is how to set it up. Click on this plus down here by sources, then go to video capture devices. Click OK. Under the devices tab, look for your HDMI device. Click OK. Now click on settings, output, recording, and we're gonna just change this to an MP4 or MOV. You can also choose the location where you wanna save the file. Click OK. Now when you click start recording, it will record whatever you do on the back of your camera. And while I was recording this video, I also found out that you can also just record it through QuickTime by going file, new, movie, recording. So you could use the file just like this, or if you wanted to put in a little bit more effort, you could do something like this. Set up and take a photograph of the back of your camera. In Premiere Pro, line up and resize the video file to fit in the back of the screen of the photograph that you took. Then the secret to make it all look real is to change the blending mode of the video file to screen. And there you go, it looks super real now. Cool, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful to someone and I'll check you next time.